The EFF will launch its election manifesto at the Moses Mabida Stadium in Durban tomorrow. The party has expressed confidence in its growth trajectory at the polls, especially in Gwazulu Natal. The manifesto will be centered around its seven cardinal pillars, which include land expropriation without compensation, free quality education, and the nationalization of mines, banks, amongst others. Now, SABC News reporter Vusi Kumalo spoke to EFF Secretary General Marshall Glamini. Yes, of course, the much-anticipated manifesto launch of the EFF, the third biggest political party in the, in the Republic of South Africa, uh, will be launching its manifesto uh, come tomorrow. It's just a few hours now left. I'm now with the EFF's uh, Secretary General, Mr. Marshal Zamini, who's going to tell us about their preparations because we can see that they are well underway. It's all systems go, even we've even spoken to uh, the police, the metro police here in Durban or Eteguini. Just take us through about the preparations uh, that you have been doing. We've been seeing the EFF crisscrossing the length and breadth of the country, having also heard Malema, the president of the party, saying that some of the party officials, such as the deputy president, uh, Shibambu, will be deployed as early as November from last year. No, thank you and uh, greetings to your viewers at home and, and to yourself, brother. We, we are ready. Tomorrow uh, we are launching the People's Manifesto. We are unveiling the action plan of what the EFF uh, is going to bring and deliver in the next five years. So the Commander-in-Chief is already here in the province. He has visited uh, different communities, uh, including visiting institutions of higher learning. Uh, learning just to go and check uh, the registration processes, engage with the leadership of the, you know, those institutions to check what are the issues, what are the challenges, is there enough space for young uh, people who just passed metric. Uh, he visited uh, all those institutions, he's around, we're all here, the deputy president has been here since November, after we, uh, he was deployed, after we finished our election work workshop. Uh, we adopted a road to victory manual which gives a step by step of all the programs uh, that were up until the day of elections and this is part of the programs that was adopted last year on our elections workshop that we must come and launch our manifesto here in Guazul Natal where uh, we, 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 we know for a fact that uh, Guazul Natal is the home of the EFF because we remember that in 2019 uh, even the, the institutions that do uh, polling uh, they, they could not uh, 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 poll the EFF in KZN, they could not project how much it's going to get. It, it shocked all of us and the people of KZN, they were sending a message to us as the leadership of the EFF that won the EFF here in KZN and we are here to respond to that call. So tomorrow at 12 o'clock the, uh, the, the Commander-in-Chief will take the podium and uh, take through the people of South Africa what the EFF has uh, in plan for this uh, national and uh, provincial elections. Mm. With that said, one will still ask why Guazul Natal? Because we know that in 2014, your first election, you got about 76,000 votes. And then again in 2019, during the general election, you got more than 350,000 votes. So why KZN? Look, as you are correctly saying, that uh, you, you got to listen to, to the voters when they are whispering to you. Uh, you see that jump. Uh, uh, very few, it's never been seen where a political party in one province moved from 70,000 to 390,000 within that short space of time. And then you can't ignore those voters because they are saying to you, this is your home. Uh, leave the naysayers and those who are your opponents that were saying to you, uh, you'll never find traction in a coastal province. Was Lula Dalu are here and we want the EFF to come here. So you, there's no way. Uh, if you are a, a leadership that listens to, to your constituents, to your voters, you could ignore that. They raised their hand as early as 2019 that when you come and unveil the, the manifesto amongst other provinces, you must remember us and we've responded to that call. Uh, that's uh, Marshal Tamini, who is the Secretary General of the EFF, saying that uh, they, uh, they are expecting their members, the fighters, the fighters uh, to fill up this stadium, which has got a, a capacity of just over 65,000. So we are expecting that uh, a lot of people, as he's saying, that there will be uh, people who are coming from here in the province of KwaZulu Natal. So they are discounting uh, other people from other provinces. So they are saying that uh, even the FF has shown uh, so much growth.